hey guys hope you're all well hope you're all having a lovely day so today is about the goods and the bad the goods and the bad the good and the bad about having a big family now this is not a rant this is just what i've noticed in my family because my family is considered a big family because there's six of us two parents four kids so that's considered a big family now i've got my little notes down here you can laugh about them you can you know agree in the comment section you can tell me about your family if you've got a big family how it is with you so yeah let's get into it the first thing is you never have enough time for some reason the time just goes pew, like literally the twins when i go down for a nap i'm thinking that you're having a nap now i'm thinking oh i've got a few hours before i know they're awake it was just you know so it's like there's never enough time in the day to even spend with one child to spend with the other child because there's always things to be done and it's just busy constantly busy there's honestly i need we need a few hours extra in the day you know to be able to do everything we need to do in big families but it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot the other good thing is you have more hands to help even though i don't really let the kids do much because i like to do this stuff myself so i know it's clean and it's done right but there's once they get older there'll be more hands you know helping which is good because when i was younger my, when i was about 13 i said it my mom was like someone has to do the hoovering someone has to do the toilet somebody you know and i think that's how i'm gonna do it it's going dark Hopefully you can see me guys. Yeah, so that's how my mom done it. And I think that's what I'm going to do is so because nobody got time to be doing a whole house of cleaning when there's older kids in the house seeing there when it's, you know, no. So big having a big family, it has its goods. It has its advantages and disadvantages. And I think having more hands on deck is definitely a good thing because we can all share the chores. We can all help out. Because more hands, less work. Mm. See? <sighs> food shopping. Food shopping. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It is expensive. It is expensive to do food shopping. Okay. This is what I do. <clears throat> I do food shopping every week because I cannot do a month shopping because I do not have the space for it. Now I do food shopping every week, every Friday. But trust and believe, the amount of times I still have to top up in the week, I almost have to top up, go to the corner shop to top up, to get bits and pieces, like every, in a week, maybe three times or so, to top up, to get other stuff. So it's never done. You still have to buy more stuff. Where other families, they might buy, you know, the shopping, and then really all they need is bread and milk to top up. Me? <laughs> I need bread. I need milk, I need the yogurt, I need the, the, the sugar, I need every single time. It's a have every week I need to top up on top of the shopping that I've already done. So it is expensive. It's a lot of money. You don't actually notice it. I mean the big shopping, the big, you know, main shopping that I do, I notice it. But there's little oh, ten pounds here, five pounds here, ten pounds. You don't notice it until you look at your account and thinking, bro, I've spent like two hundred pounds or something and food in a week how and you can't the thing is you cannot cut it down or else you just will not have the food you have these are essential things that you need you know to run the house and feed everyone you cannot cut them out you just can't so that's one disadvantage about big families is they're expensive but the good thing is there's always laughter in the house and there's always noise there's someone crying you know there's always noise in the house now there's people who do not like being in the house by themselves or stuff like that now if you're the type of person have yourself some a whole lot of kids your house will never be quiet okay you will always have noise which is good because sometimes the house is so quiet you're thinking you can hear a pin drop and you're thinking oh, that's too quiet you know and I used to do this when I was younger, like if I was by myself at home, I would start like thinking, ooh, there's someone in the house or something. So I would rock up the volume like music or something, so there's noise in the house. 
but me i do not have to do that because i have a whole lot of noise sometimes i just want to tune them down but you cannot tune them down so there's always noise in the house and that's what happens with big families there will always be noise in the house which is a beautiful at times and sometimes like okay can you like turn it down like it's too loud can i i can't even hear myself Shh, turn it down but yeah there's always gonna be noise there's always gonna be laughter and joy which is beautiful or sometimes no <laughs> and the other good thing is there will always be someone there to talk to you'll never be alone even though they're not in the house you can always call people you, if you can't get one you can call another one if you can't get that one you can call they will always that's one thing major thing that i actually love about having a big family is that i will always or the kids will always have someone to call they can call the siblings they can call us there will always be someone to talk to or help you out where if you're a small family like maybe three of you if mom and dad are at work and your brother is like leave me alone you know you don't have no one to talk to you just stuck there like okay but with us there's like they got four of them and two parents so if one sibling doesn't want to talk to you go to the next sibling if that one don't want to talk to you go to the next one if though it's amazing it is i'm actually thinking about it's actually amazing it is beautiful that they'll have each other to talk to and you know you'll never be alone you'll always have someone to be having fun with you playing with you and stuff like that so it's beautiful it's beautiful the other thing which i don't like is someone always needs something to be bought like every day my daughter's like mommy i need lip gloss oh mommy i need a top oh mommy i need this for school oh mommy, i need a boy oh mommy i need football boots oh mommy i need football with this mommy i need uh, for, what is it for nice thingy and then the twins the twins need shoes they need clothes they need there's always something that needs to be bought every single week even though i don't buy them every single week because mama ain't got money like that you do not flow like that and it does not grow on trees but there's always something that needs to be bought and i would love to get to a point in life where i do not have to be buying stuff or that they don't need stuff bought every single week i would love that i would literally be a happy woman but for now they need things almost every week to be bought you know they're expensive kids are expensive and i think that's why some people be like you know what i'm gonna wait till i'm well off but if you want to wait till you're well off you never have those kids you end up in your 40s and you're thinking oh my god i'm 40 i'm an egg that dried up and i'm like no kids what do i do i mean i know there's freezing and all that stuff but some you know you might want to have it naturally like you know man and woman make a baby but yeah they're expensive they're expensive and sometimes I go broke, they take all my money, but it's okay, we move. <laughs> Last but not least, oh Jesus, what's in my eye? But not least, my house. My house is forever a mess. Well, not always, but most of the times when the twins are awake, it's a mess. What they do, especially my, my little girl Bella, she gets the toys and just tips the whole toy thing out and then she walks off and I'm looking at her like, Madam, like, are you serious? And she just, mm. you pick it up, you put it away. She comes back, tips it over and walks and I'm like, I'm one of those people, I really do not like mess. I like everything to be in their position, in their places and I try to do that. And when they go to bed, I tidy up and it's like, Voila, it's nice and you know it's nice and tidy they wake up back to mess and i'm like okay and i literally i'm like i get itchy fingers i'm thinking come on tidy up come on and then sometimes i start counting like okay go to bed soon go to bed so i can tidy my house <laughs> it's like it's mad it is crazy but yeah my house sometimes is mm, messy with toys it's mostly it's mostly actually it's always toys which which is which makes it messy but yeah it's a messy life when you have when you have toddlers and babies it gets messy it gets like that but we move but yeah guys so those are all my little points of having a big family the good and the bad but in all in all in all in all in all in all is that the word anyway 
in it through everything i would not change anything at all literally i would not change it yes in the moment when they do the most you're like you're like why are you doing that what, what, what you know but really i would not change it i love having a big family i like the noise i like the fact that you know there's always you know the house is always alive even though at this point we actually need to move because my house is quite small at the moment we have like a two bedroom flat and there's six of us in here and we need to move because we need a whole lot of space because this kid needs space to you know move and all of that so that's in the hopefully praying that will happen soon hopefully early next year or something so that would be beautiful to give them a bit more space but yeah it is amazing having a big family it's a blessing but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have a big family let me know how you run your household if you're a sibling let me know how that is having lots of siblings and uh we shall speak to you later bye guys